Hello and welcome to What the Math. Today we're taking a look at chapter 8.2 and this is logic and we're doing compound propositions, basically propositions that have more than one proposition in them. And what we're going to focus on is we're going to learn what these signs mean. We're going to learn what this is. Okay, that's not what I wanted. We're going to learn what this is. We're going to learn what that is and also what this is. And rem uh, I'll also remind you what that is. So these symbols are, you need to know them for your test and you just need to remember them in general because you will see them quite a lot. So let's start by making two propositions that we're going to use uh, to make this compound proposition. So we're going to have proposition P and let's just say uh, it's going to be something like math is fun. Ha 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 ha. Because it is. It is fun. It is fun. And proposition Q will be uh, math is difficult because it is. It is difficult. It is. No, it's not difficult. It's easy. All right. So we have two propositions. I could actually add more. I could have R, S, and T and whatever, but it will just make it more confusing. So let's just focus on two first. Uh, so here we have two propositions. Uh, let's make a table just to represent all the possibilities for these two propositions. I'm going to have my P right here and my Q right here. And then I'm going to make this into a table format. Uh, so we have one possibility where math is fun and math is difficult. Essentially, math is fun, true, and math is difficult, true. We have another possibility where math is fun, but also math is easy. Math is not difficult, so this is false. And this is actually what I think about math. Math is fun and it is not difficult. But also maybe some of you think that math is not fun. And you know who you are. Math is not fun. Uh, and you think that math is difficult. Math is difficult. So that's false and true. And the last possibility here is that um, you think math is not fun, but you also think math is easy. And you know who you are too. Those of you who think that it's easy and it's not fun. And this essentially is our truth table. This is our truth table for two propositions. However, if you look at your uh, formula booklet, you'll also find these characters right here. You'll also find these four characters. So let's just start with uh, the one we did last class, last video. So this is not. In other words, let's start with negation. Let's put a negation in there as well. And I'll, let's just do one negation. We're going to do only P. So we're going to do negation character and put not P in here. So this is going to be not P right here. And so we're only looking at the column with P. So what do we have here? So um, if P is true, not P must be false. Not must be false because basically it's the opposite of P. So same here. And this will give us true and true. So basically, basically, basically. So basically what this means is that we are saying the opposite of this proposition. So math is not fun. And here, if math is fun, then math is not fun. It's false. Uh, however, if math is not fun, then it's true. Math is not fun. I know it sounds confusing, but essentially it's the opposite. So if, if this is true, then this will be false. If this is true, this will be false. And if this is false, then this must be true because it's the opposite of uh, our uh, original proposition. Okay, now let's take a look at another sign. And this one is called conjunction. Conjunction just means uh, together. And in other words, it's the, it's the word and I'm going to write it here. It's end and it's written like this. It's written as this symbol right here. I'm going to write it underneath this as well. So this is end and let's do P conjunction Q. So P conjunction Q and conjunction can be also compared to the uh, Venn diagram symbol, which we used before. It's this symbol here. It was called intersection. So, and it actually means very similar uh, things. It's actually, basically it means when both of the um, propositions are true, then this will be true. So in other words, it's intersection of two propositions. So here, when this is true and this is true, then this has to be true as well. So P and Q will be true only if both of them are true. Now, if one of them is false or both of them are false, it will always be false. So conjunction for these two propositions would be that math is fun and math is difficult. So this has to be true. Now, if here we have math is fun and math is not difficult, well, that's not what we're saying. This is already false. So this cannot be, 
It doesn't fit this proposition, this conjunction. It's neither does this. This this says that m math is not fun, but math is difficult. But our original conjunction was that math is fun and it is difficult. So this is false, and of course this is false as well. So for all conjunctions, you will you always have one truth and three falses. Right here on top, I'm going to make a small Venn diagram just to re represent this visually. So we have our Q and P, our Q right here, our P right here. And the conjunction is right here in between them. So there has to be both of the values. So it's going to be a very small value. Uh, and that's our troop right here. This is truth. So it has to be intersection of two propositions. Next, we have disjunction. Disjunction. And this is the word or. Or. And it's written like this. And it's similar to union in Venn diagrams. So this right here is or. And let me write this here. So P or Q. And what this means is that either one of these uh, has to be true for this to be true. So either math is fun or math is difficult. So here we have both. So both of them are true. And, and this is actually the tricky part about this symbol is that it also includes when both of them are true. So or here means actually means or and. So it includes this. So it includes when either one of them or both of them are true. And then of course it includes when one of them is true. So or uh, so here it's either math is fun or math is difficult or either math is difficult or math is fun. And the only one that uh, the disjunction does not include is the last one where both of them are false. So here, um, math is not fun and math is not difficult. So it's neither one of them, which means that this will be false. If I were to draw a Venn diagram for this, I'm going to do it right here. It would look like this. So it would include the entire value of PE, the entire value of Q, and also entire value in between them. So uh, P or Q is essentially all of the two circles together. It's the union of two circles, but it does not include this area. So this area is not included. And this is not P, not Q. And this is why this is false. And the last example here is this, and this is called exclusive disjunction. So it's a type of a disjunction, but it's called exclusive disjunction. And as you can probably guess, it means um, only or, so it does not include and. So exclusive disjun disjunction is the sign that is written like this and it doesn't have an equivalent in um in venn diagrams unfortunately but essentially what it means is essentially what it means is that it's only true when one of these is true but not both so this one will be false so it cannot be both of them at the same time it can only be true when only one of them is true so only here and obviously not here as well so the only difference between these two values is that it does not include uh, the intersection right here in the middle. So this is not included. This is not included. And uh, on the Venn diagram, it would look like this. So this is P and Q, and it would include all of this, all of this, but not the middle, not the in-between part, and not the outside part. So this is exclusive disjunction. And this is basically it for the truth tables and for compound propositions. But before we finish, there's two more words I would like you to understand and know because they might appear on a test. And these two words are tautology and logical contradiction. Now, tautology uh, is, is a word you've probably never heard of before, but contradiction, you probably know what, it, what this means. So let's look at them from a logical perspective. Tautology is a compound proposition. So essentially, it's, it's a proposition that has more than one um, pr proposition. And it's a uh, compound proposition that has um, values that are always true. So um, all of the all of the columns, all of the rows will be always true. So always true. Whereas logical contradiction is the opposite. It's when it's always false. And let's just use a very simple example. Let's use proposition P for this example. And P can be anything, let's just say math is fun. So here we have P and P. Now, uh, example of tautology would be, a good example of tautology would be P or not P. So essentially, if you try to build a table with this, you will have P not P and P or not P. This is going sideways, I don't know why, but that's okay. Uh, this is not P. 
and let's just put all of the values in here. I'm just going to finish this uh, this way. And so we have P can be true or it can be false. And if P is true, then this is false. And if P is false, then this is true. And tautology is, uh, or this proposition P or not P becomes tautology because here it says it's either P or not P. And it's true. Either P or not P and it's true. So it's always, always true. There's actually an infinite amount of tautologies that are possible, but this is probably the simplest one, where no matter what you do, this entire column will always be true, and this is what tautology means in a nutshell. Whereas contradiction is the opposite, and a good example would, here would be P and not P, P and not P. So if I add this here, P and not P, it's never true. You can never have... Uh, a proposition and it's up and it's um, opposite basically here p and not p is false and p and not p is false so it's a contradiction and it will always be a contradiction no matter what you put in there and basically that's it in a nutshell so just remember that tautology means something that's always true and logical contradiction is something that's always false okay so that's it for uh, chapter 8.2 compound propositions thank you for watching and good luck to you bye bye